Vikings, who is at the mercy of the Lions for just about the entirety of the game, somehow, someway managed to steal victory from the jaws of defeat, beating the Lions by a final score, 28-24. Shout out to the non-Justin Jefferson weapons. I've been saying for two weeks now, spread the ball around. You have playmakers, use them. Adam Thielen and K.J. Osborne, they stepped up big time today, combined for 11 catches on 16 targets, 134 yards, and two touchdowns. K.J. given the Carolina 2021 game vibes by getting the touchdown at the end of the game to basically seal it. Jefferson looked lethargic at times, seemed like he didn't want to be there, but... This was a good reminder that this offense should not be all reliant on just 18. Also, shout out to the offensive line. They did an excellent job in pass protection. Aiden Hutchison was neutralized. And Charles Harris, I I find it funny when athletes have to resort to doing some weak-ass shit just to give them an edge instead of simply outplaying their opponent. The final possession for the Vikings. They're trying to rush up the field to get a spike off for a field goal attempt. And... Harris smacks the ball out of Garrett Bradbury's hands. Boom. Halftime. Your defense blew a 14-0 lead, so you felt like you had to do that? That's funny. No matter, though, praise is also to be given to the Vikings' run game. When the passing attack was ineffective, it was Dalvin Cook and Alexander Madison that kept hope alive. They were the driving force of the Adam Thielen touchdown. Dalvin Cook, he scored the second time. Madison with the third now, Cook, with the fumble loss, he suffered some sort of shoulder injury. So if he's going to be out for a while, you're going to have to rely on a running back by committee consisting of Alexander Madison, Kane and Wangu, and Ty Chandler for however long it takes. Now, Kirk Cousins, for a large portion of the game, was frustrating to watch. The defense was an embarrassment until late in the second half before the start of the fourth quarter. No pass rush. The corners were awful. In particular, Cam Dantzler and Chandon Sullivan. I get all that. But too many times you were indecisive with the football, holding on to the ball for far too long. You had great protection up front, a great play to K.J. Osborne for the touchdown, but you had too many opportunities, Kirk Cousins, to not let it get that far. Example, Irv Smith Jr. For the second straight week, can't catch the football, running with cinder blocks on his feet. And it's funny because coming into this season, I said I complained, saying that after Irv, with the tight end group, we have nothing. Well, ironically enough, it's the opposite. Irv Smith Jr. is the worst tight end on the team, getting shut down by linebackers. I would say that he's the second coming of Troy Williamson, but Troy Williamson could at least get separation. He should be buried in the depth chart. He should never see the field again except to play special teams. And the reason why Kirk Cousins deserves some blame in this is you're the quarterback. Why are you throwing this man the football? Block him out of your mind. The last two weeks, Irv Smith Jr. against Philly finished with the second most targets with eight. Today, tied for second most targets with six. No one's forcing Cousins to throw Irv the football. Now on defense, Ed Donatel, you held off the pitchforks for at least a week. The defense to start the game was a clown show but toughened up at the end. Vikings, they go 2-1 and one. I, in the nastiest way possible. I feel like I need a cigarette after watching that game. Definitely a shower. It's a lot better than starting the season off 1-2. and two. Either way, I'll take it.